finishing over here is fantastic. Uh, yeah, just the same as, you know. We're uh, hoping to run within the first two, we'll see if we get up there on points in the last one and then probably get taken out again. There's, there's 26 guys out there and any one of them could win it. They're all good, all capable drivers. So, so I mean, you've just got to have a bit of luck on your side and, and uh, hopefully the, the gaps will come and the car will keep the tyres up and, and away we go. But, and not too far away from him going from grid number 19, the perennial favourite from the United Kingdom, and that is Frankie Wayman. Into the front goes the 29, and that is Dirk Rednos from uh, Holland. But he's already been swamped. It is uh, Rotorua Stan Hickey that takes over the front running. 3.51 in second. That's Paul Vasey from Auckland. Then by the look of it, Rednos has moved back a couple of spots now. The Silver Bullet, the Hart Dignison. Kyle Fraser just dropping back a spot. And someone riding up on the wall, and that was number 119, Lance Aldridge. Gets it back on the terra firma as they work their way through three and four, and round he goes. And there is Frankie Wayman. Well, somehow, we've seen it so many times in years past here at Rotorua, he seems to miss all the early carnage. Checkered flag will fly this time, and it will be number 515, Stan Hickey, getting the win. Yeah, no, it's good to have a win at the start of the night. Um, but there is two more races, a long way to go. Yeah, you know, I thought we got into the top ten, but I came back in and... They said I ended up fifth, which I absolutely wrapped with off 19. It was good. Who will it be off the line? Will it be number 119, Lance Aldridge, or will it be Brendan Higgins? They're side by side. It's Aldridge that's got the front running as they run into turn one. Will he hold the lead? Oh, coming down the inside of him is Malcolm Nartai. Dale Awis is in there as well. So too Wayman. Keep an eye on the 55. Someone already into the wall as they head down the back straight for the first time, and Nartai hits the front. Oh, a couple, and that was number 64 heading off onto the grass, and that was Kevin Smith. We got one turn round already, but it's the one NZ, the New Zealand champion from Christchurch, out in the lead. Number 515, Stan Hickey, so we'll keep an eye on him too. Top points leader after the first heat started from the position 16. There is Shane Penn, the silver bullet. Oh, someone else, and that was Osborne, just kissing the wall. Trying to get around the 119, and that's Lance Aldridge. Born originally from Rotorua, now residing in Christchurch. The car always looks the picture, they really do present it well. He's got in front of the 119 of Aldridge. There's Bigsman. There is Royden Collingwood and Westerbury locked onto him. So Palmerston North v Rotorua. So it's been another fantastic drive for Collingwood. There's the race leader, Mike Malcolm Nato in the front. Last lap for him. A was through in second place. Then it's Wayman Jr. So more good points for the pop. Then it's Mark Osborne. Shane Penn is next. Brendan Higgins, Peter Bingston, and Stan Hickey. So another good run for the man from Rotorua in Hickey. Nartai comes through and wins it. Awas will go across the line in second, so the South Island car is one and two. Wayman will be third, and it's Osborne, another South Island car in fourth. Stan, you've had a first couple of heats, you've had pretty good draws and you, yeah, it's paid off for you, you've got pretty good points, 44 points, that makes you second equal in the points, but a uh, grid 22 for this last one. Yeah, but uh, so is Royden, uh, he's not far away from me on the grid as well and he's second equal I think with me on points, so um, yeah, and who knows what's going to happen out there. Do you reckon Frankie's going to be able to round up some support, because once again Frankie's top point scorer. Yeah, I think some of the English will probably help him, but um, I don't know if he'll have too many Kiwi friends. This is the guy they're all worried about, though. This is Frankie Wayman Jr., the 55R. Being a two-time winner here at the World 240s in the past, finished third two seasons ago. But as he said in the interviews with us earlier in the day, he's a marked man when it comes to the third and final heat. And he's a pretty suspicious uh, Englishman. He, he told me this uh, this afternoon, he said, don't come and put the jinx on me. I don't want anyone talking to me before the third heat. I want to concentrate. I want to get my race face on. So we've allowed him to do that. 55, Frankie Wayman. He is the top point scorer on 46 points. It's the yellow flags come in. We're just about set to go. 15 laps. Heat number three, the third and final heat of the 2009 New Zealand Welding School. World 240s is underway and Bingston nails his covers to the mast and gets out of the problems, or does he? Did he get taken in the first turn? Well, we'll have to have a look at it. There was a fair bit of carnage in there. This car's going on all sorts of directions. Brendan Higgins turns his car around. Wayman's still going. 
Round goes to number one, that's Malcolm Nartai. Beats the no leaves it. Oh, and round goes Royden Collingwood, and he takes Shoeing Shane Penn as well. Well, that is not good tactics for Palmerston North. Collingwood was off the front row. Shane Penn was one behind him. They're both down now. Here's Wayman just in behind Penn. Osborne is there as well, the 16C, the man from Christchurch. Kyle Fraser doing his best to slow things down. There is the Myers car, the tank of Scotty Myers. It looks like he's going to try and run interference for Peter Bengston. We've got the Reds out. We've got all sorts of problems here. We've got another couple slowing down there. Number 135, Scott Houston by the look of it. He's taken up the protection role, I'm sure of it. There's Wayman. Oh, and the 64 tried to line him up, but he was just too slow. That's Kevin Smith from Palmerston North. So the Panthers have nailed their colours to the mark. They're after the palm, they no mistake about it. And Stu Smith, well, I don't think he's fast enough to give him any protection at all. This is where it'll happen in the traffic. Stan Hickey looks like he's out of it. Look at Myers just sitting in behind Bingston. Well, he's got the bite of loyalty because here comes Shane Penn as well. And Higgins it is that tries to fix up. Wayman It's not going to be able to do it, though. wayman has got ahead of him. Brendan Higgins gave it everything. There he is, the three ends in. Wayman still back in fourth. Been up into third now. Scott Myers looks like he might have gone into the front here. Oh, well, that's bad English tactics there. Stu Smith getting into the side of Wayman. Well, can Frankie Wayman do it? He's won it twice already before. Pat Westerby wants to have a say in it. Tom Harris trying to help him as well. One in in, Malcolm Nartai. Maybe he's going to be the destroyer for the Englishman. Scott Myers still in there. Shane Penn still in there. Bingston, I think, is gone. And someone hard into the fence, and that was Wayman. And I think it was Tom Harris that put him in. Well, terrible, terrible English tactic. Frankie Wayman dead in the water. Looks like his title hopes are gone, as well as the left front wheel. Well, it happens so often. I know he was resigned to it. 87, Pat Westbury just ahead of him. Chicken flag comes out. Scott Myers gets the win. Westbury will be second. Well, what has that done for the points? Hold all tickets. We lost the uh, 58, the defending champion, Peter Bengston, with about three to go. Where is Wayman going to finish? He's going to finish just inside the top ten at around about eight. That'll be completely unofficial at the moment. Well, Scott Myers doing the job at the front of the field, and they're already still trying to get into uh, Frankie Wayman. There is Scott Myers. He's won the third and final heat, so he's had the last say. Well, the word is that uh, Wayman has done enough by the slimmest of margins, as we said, by one single solitary point. Well, there'll be some glum faces in the huge crowd here at Rotorua because they won't want the Englishman to win. But it looks like that's what he's done. He's only got two inflated tyres left. The left front and the left rear are gone. I think the left front suspension is in problem as well. He goes back under the infield. Official result there, one point ahead. So hopefully, if everything gels through, we're done. Yeah. You drove it faultlessly, and then almost on the last lap, I thought they got you. Yeah, they tried totally me at the end there, but we just kept going, just keep going. That's the name of the game out here. You know, the car was built over in England. They all said it wasn't strong enough when I got here, but you know, it finished that, and they were throwing it at me at the end. You know, so. How surprised were you that you got as far as you were? On the red light, the red light just uh, cost me a little bit because it was flowing before that. I was sat in nicely behind Stu. Stu were doing a brilliant job, you know, just keeping going. We were just in there, just minding my own business and just keeping it on the red light so everybody gets to see where everybody is. And that was a danger. You know what I mean? They're there, but, uh, yeah. You did it. Hopefully, yeah. Uh,